वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम योर होस्ट यतीश बेरिया सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट माइक्रोवेव सेंसर्स अब सी एस आर बेस्ड माइक्रोवेव सेंसर फॉर द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स परमिटिविटी ऑफ लिक्विड सैम्पल्स सो आई विल मेनली गो थ्रो दिस कंटेंट्स सो आई विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ माइक्रोवेव कैन बी यूज इन मेटेरियल कैरेक्टराइजेशन and how it is used in dielectric characterization it is mainly used in uh, characterizing materials by their dielectric properties the next is how is the sensor can be used in practical purposes the next is how we design it and how it simulate it and how the results are going to show so first the introduction part tells us that the knowledge of complex permittivity of a dielectric material is of utmost importance to understand the behavior of the material under the application of an electric field it means that as we know a dielectric material is a material which interact with the electric field applied electric field so how much it interacts uh, is decided by its dielectric constant the higher the dielectric constant the higher the interaction it made with the electric field so uh, so uh, what we will do is that we will design a sensor sensor with a high electric field concentration so when a dielectric material is brought into contact with the sensor then the material interact with the electric field of the sensor and it uh, what is does it just simply part up the electric field concentration it means it part up the field distributions and what we going to do uh, is is in the next slides so over the years different techniques have been proposed but what we are going to do is we will take microwave technique so we will feed microwave we will use microwave feed techniques so we will use resonant microwave techniques in which we are going to part up the electric field distributions there are also some other defined techniques in which we are not going to part up electric field distributions but in this method resonant method we are going to part up electric field distributions uh, let us now see how microwave can be used in material characterization so microwave frequency typically ranges from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz as we know it's the standard uh, definition given by some standard companies so let us see what are the different techniques microwave techniques the first one is a resonant method in this method we are simply going to interact the sensor with the dielectric material or something that this uh, perturbs the field distributions it is very convenient because it provides high accuracy and precision and the second method is non resonant method in this method what we are going to do that we are going to place the material in a section of transmission or reflection line and uh, we are going to see how the frequency changes and the third method uh, where so uh, now we will learn about micro strip wing resonator so over the years uh, it is defined that a ring Uh, which is an integral multiple of the wavelength long can be used as a resonant device so uh, when microwaves are fed into the ring then the ring shows resonant characteristics so by this resonant characteristics we are going to know how we can characterize materials on the basis of their dielectric properties so uh, we are going to design a csr based sensor so i am going to uh, so first what is a srr 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 is split ring resonator that is a ring resonator with a split in between them the second was is square srr in which a square ring is used with a split in between them double circle csr is the one in which we are using two ring resonators with splits in between them the third one is the circular csrr so basically what is csr is complementary split ring resonator in which uh, we are going to each that srr portion so it is the metallic negative image of srr you know uh, in which we are going to each 
out the copper layer on an uh, substrate board so uh, we get csr so now uh, what we will do we will try to uh, try to compute some parameters of the sensor the first parameter is the quality factor so quality factors defines the resolution of resonance it means that how much it can differentiate between the frequencies the second was is the sensitivity so the much higher the sensitivity the much higher the sensor can sense so uh, but we will need a linear uh, sensitivity it means that a linear relationship between the sensitivity it means that if i have a dielectric constant of 1 and it gives me a shift of 1 gigahertz then if i have a dielectric constant of uh, 2 it will give me a um, sensitivity of uh, let's suppose 1.2 then uh, uh, in uh, uh, if the dielectric constant is 3 then it must give me a di uh, sensitivity of 1.4 gigahertz so this way the sensor works so in this uh, ppt we are going to learn about the uh, csr sensor i have designed so what we have designed we have designed a csrr sensor square csr sensor with two splits in between them which are at a 90 degree angle so what we are we have used is we have used as fr4 board with uh, of 1.6 millimeter thick with 0.035 millimeter copper cladings on both sides so we have uh, designed this uh, uh, design and after that we are we have each uh, each the portion on the copper layer so uh, this how is design behaves like uh, like a uh, lcr resonant circuit so the rings on the uh, design works as a uh, inductance and the slits on the ring behaves as capacitance so it works as an equivalently works as an lcc resonant circuit and it shows resonant characteristics so this design i have designed using high frequency structure simulator uh, and the resonant frequency can be evaluated by the formula f equal to one equal twice pi root over lc and the equivalent circuit i have drawn here so uh, in the back side a feed is shown the feed can be uh, divided into two parts of l by 2 and l by 2 which is capacitively coupled to the upper uh, upper layer upper this uh, upper csr design so what uh, then uh, upper csr design is a sunt lcr circuit so we have equivalently designed the circuit also in ads advanced design system so after that uh, what uh, the results are here so uh, when uh, the sensor is uh, simulated we have seen and the blue curve is for air uh, the blue curve resonance at a frequency of 3.3 .3 gigahertz so when we are going to uh, give water as the uh, dielectric medium uh, when we brought water in the brought water into the resonant circuit what we are going to have is that we have a shift of almost 1 gigahertz uh, water and air has a difference of 79.1 uh, uh, dielectric constant this is uh, water has a dielectric constant of 80.1 and air has a dielectric constant of 1 so uh, this is how we are going to uh, have SIPs for defined dielectric constant and we, I have shown it for uh, six liquids, six defined liquids uh, with air as a reference. So in the right hand side I have shown the electric field distribution of my sensor. The red regions depicts the regions of high electric field design a design in which we are going to design a holder holder to holder liquids so the sensing principle is already known to you is it just this, uh, the liquid just interacts with the electric field and it perturbs the electric field distribution which uh, causes the shift in frequency so uh, the frequency versus s21 curve s21 is nothing but when we use a two port system the power transferred from the port 1 to the port 2 depicts the s one parameter it is uh, used in uh, practical uses we will use a vna 
which is a two port measurement device to uh, measure the power uh, power uh, <coughs> transferred from one port to another or also the power uh, reflected to the same port in which the power is fed so the next part is the results so we have also calculated the q factor the q factor is defined as 2f divided by del f the f is the resonant frequency and del f is a shift in uh, frequency with respect to air so uh, we have a quality factor of almost 84.143 which is a good quality factor uh, to uh, differentiate two liquids of dielectric constant nearby so the next part is the sensitivity the sensitivity of the sensor can be given in terms of uh, s equal to del f per del epsilon so del f is the change in frequency with respect to air and del epsilon is the change in dielectric constant with respect to air so uh, we have also calculated our sensitivity uh, in terms of normalized sensitivity as different uh, sensors works in different frequency range so we are you, you are using normalized sensitivity and for our sensor we are getting a normalized sensitivity of 1.0599 so we have also compared our sensitivity results with different proposed works and found out that our sensor has high sensitivity in comparison with other works so this is what I am trying to tell you and if you need more videos on this topic then surely you can comment and subscribe to my channel and I am going to start a class 12 whole course on physics shortly. So thanks my friends. Subscribe to my channel and also like and share.